welcome to part two of the Harmony Games by Yaniv Segal. I'm conductor Laura Jackson here with the Reno Philharmonic, and soon we'll learn what happens next in our legendary tale of how the first orchestra came to be. In the last episode, we met the four instrument families, the strings, woodwinds, brass, and percussion, and they just could not get along with each other. Eventually, instead of fighting, the elders of the community created a musical tournament called the Harmony Games to determine who would rule the land. When we left off, they declared that this year, each family had to compose a piece combining math and music. They called it the Math and Musica competition. Let's find out how it went. The rules were announced. Each family must show how math relates to music. You have one hour to compose a piece of music. The family whose music is the most interesting, most impressive, and best able to explain math will be crowned the winner. On your mark, get set, go. Well, the families were in a panic. What does music have to do with math, they asked each other. Math is math. Music is music. What should we do? What should we do? Everyone started talking at once. But quickly they settled down to work, focusing on their talents and unique musical skills, knowing they only had one hour to create the best piece of mathematical music to win. All right, everyone, time is up. Introduce your instruments, explain your math concepts, and then perform your magnificent, melodious, mathematical music. Let the Harmony Games begin. First up will be the String Family. Lady Viola, the String Family representative, looked a little bit nervous as she started. Hello, everyone. We are the String Family. Now, has anyone here ever played a um, string instrument before? Oh, oh, goody. I see some hands, so that makes me feel a lot less nervous. We string players pull our bows back and forth to make the strings vibrate and create sound. The smallest and highest is the violin. The viola, that's me, is larger and has a deeper sound. Larger and lower still is the cello. The biggest and lowest is the double bass. Battle our opponents high and low. <laughs> but mostly we like elegant and graceful melodies. Did I introduce everyone in the string family? No, uh, no. Uh, whom did I forget? Oh, heavens. Oh, yes, the harp. Mm -hmm. 
wait a minute. What did I just say string players need uh, uh, to use to make their strings vibrate? Oh, yes, quite. The bow. Well, since harpists don't have bows, uh, they have to pluck the strings instead. And the rest of the strings family can also use their fingers to pluck the strings. And now that's everyone in the family, so it is time for our Math of Musica presentation, creating a melody through addition. Let's start with one note. Now that same note can be really high or really low or in any register in between. It could be loud or soft. And let's hear that note again played by all the strings. Now tell me, can one note be a melody? No, I don't think so. Let's, let's use addition to add another note, shall we? Now, was that a melody? Maybe not. Let's add another. <laughs> it's starting to sound melodious. Let's add another note. Now, what do you think? Is that a melody? Well, so far, we've only used four notes. Well, we, we'd like to keep adding more, but uh, uh, does anyone know how many notes there are for us to use? Now listen closely and see if you can count how many notes that you hear. Oh! Oh, heavens! Did anyone catch that? I know I didn't, but uh, let's try again. But, but this time we'll put the notes in chromatic order. Mm -hmm. Any guesses? Well, let's try again, but, but a little slower, if you please. Uh, uh, remember to count the notes that you hear. Mm -hmm. Perhaps a bit slower. That's excellent, wonderful. Uh, these 12 notes can appear in all registers, from low to high. <laughs> Lovely. Now let's write a melody using all 12 notes. Here's the first four. And let's add four more. And four more makes 12. <laughs> oh, but I have a secret to tell you. One of my favorite things about playing a string instrument is that we can all slide in between those 12 notes and play an infinite number of in-between notes. And this is called glissando. It's fun to play, and also fun to say. Glissando, won't you say it with me? Glissando, wonderful. <laughs> what? Oh! <laughs> Heavens, who was that? Uh, it, was, it was a trombone. Uh, why? I didn't know you could also glissando. <laughs> well, well, the clarinet as well. What's going on? <laughs> My heavens, percussion as well. All this time, we thought only strings could glissando. 
Well, maybe some of the other instruments can join in quietly while their glissandos for the strings family final demonstration. <laughs> Is it? How about a round of applause for the strings family? Well, the elders were not pleased that other instruments joined in with the strings, but at least no lasting harm seemed to have been done. Next up in the Harmony Games Mathematica edition is the Woodwind family. Lord Reed got up to introduce the family. Hello, everyone. We are the wonderful, whimsical, wacky woodwinds. Now, does anyone here know why we are called the woodwinds? Right, right you are. Our instruments come from wood, and we blow air through them to make sound. So tell me, uh, can anyone here whistle? That's wonderful. Uh, when the conductor shows you, we shall whistle loudly. And now, a soft whistle. And now, a really short one. Ah, yes. I think you are now ready to join the Woodwind family. We're going to play a piece, and when the conductor gives you a cue, you whistle. Everyone ready? Congratulations, you have all become honorary Woodwind family members. Good for you. But Woodwinds love turning sounds of birds into music. fly circles around our opponents. The clarinet can disappear and then sneak up on people. Uh, the bassoon is the lowest instrument in the woodwinds. And the oboe has the purest tone, and their leadership centers the whole troop. Uh, so tell me, uh, did I forget to introduce anyone? Oh, <coughs> of course, the flute. Oh, they play high and fast, and everyone else has to catch up. Well, that's everyone. So now it is time for our thrilling... Oh, <coughs> I, I mean, thrilling... Math and musical presentation. We all heard how the strings create a melody by adding 12 notes in sequence. Well, uh, let's listen to that melody again, performed by our lowest instrument. Now, do tell me, which one was that again? The lowest one, yes? Yes, 
our very own bassoon. And in the spirit of addition, let's add another layer. Clarinet, do join in. Uh, when they play together, this is what we call harmony. Now, how about we uh, uh, do a little bit of multiplication? Uh, let's have the oboe add another layer that moves twice as fast. And these elements combine to create something we call polyphony. Now let's have the flute play another layer even faster than the oboe. I just love adding all these layers and speeds. But wait! Oh no! We cannot add more layers. We don't have any more instruments in our family with us here today. What is <laughs> Well, Lady Viola felt bad for the Wynn family. She said, <coughs> if you want, we can join in and play our melody. After all, we wrote it. One of the percussionists said, the rhythm layer is really important. You'll definitely need us. And the brass didn't want to miss the chance to impress everyone either. Well, the elders looked confused at all this cooperation between rival families. But before they could say anything, Lord Reed had accepted the help and everyone started playing the woodwinds music. Today, we met two instrument families, the strings, who use a bow to make sound, or the harp, where you pluck the strings. We also met the woodwinds, who blow air into their instruments, and we whistled along with their bird sounds. Next time, we'll meet the other families and see how each one composes a piece combining math and music. See you next time.